the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Love you. Then Jesus was led by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After fasting 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. The tempter came to him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. Jesus answered, It is written, People do not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city and had him stand on the highest point of the temple. If you are the son of God, throw yourself down. For it is written, he will command his angels concerning you. And they will lift you up in their hands so that you will not strike your foot against a stone. Jesus answered him, it is also written, do not put the Lord your God to the test again. The devil took him to a very high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor. All this I will give you if you will bow down and worship me. Away from me, Satan. For it is written, worship the Lord your God and serve him only. Then the devil left him and angels came and attended him. Hey everybody, I'm excited. I got a new project I want to try out. It's for encouragement, for growth, and edification for all of us. Those of who profess themselves to be Christians is to let's read the entire Bible. One chapter at a time for the New Testament. One chapter at a time for the Old Testament. Use the New Testament in the morning and at uh, nighttime use the Old Testament. And incorporate that as part of your prayer. Meaning it just becomes a routine thing with your prayer life. So, what I'm going to do is by being an example, let's actually go ahead and do that as well. Use it on YouTube. I recommend you do uh, subscribe so you can be notified when the chapter that you need to read comes up and you can come and keep up with it. Subscribe to the channel. You go to the channel and catch up with the ones that you may have missed. But let's, let's get it one day at a time, you know. And what I like to do is I'm excited because I think it's been coming because we really do need to read the Bible for ourselves, everybody there. And I encourage many of you to do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, like I said, it's the title, How to Read the Entire Bible, Read It One Day at a Time, with your morning and prayer, and use an audio book to help you read and pronounce some of those words, especially when you get to the Old Testament, I'm telling you something else. But also look at this right here. I put down the survey that was done. It was called how much we call LifeWay Research did it. How much the Bible have you personally read? And you can see 10% none, 13% only a few sentences, 30% several passages or stories, 50% at least half of it, 12% almost all of it, 11% uh, all of it, and 9% all of it more than once. And the reason I don't want you just to read the Bible, I want you to give it, meditate on it, and get that in your heart and your spirit and get revelation that God gives you. So that's why the intent is for you to read these scriptures because you guarantee you, you will grow in the things of God. And then you'll have to depend on other people to tell you something. And then when you go to church there, when the man said, Let's turn to such and such chapter. You can sit and say, I did that. <laughs> I read that chapter. And, and then you can get some more comments on that. So you start understanding what the man is trying to teach. But you keep it in content of those scriptures that they come in. Amen. Hey, I, I think you'll love it. I think I know you'll love it. I know you'll enjoy it because we got to change that stat that we just read. All right. So get ready. Go to the chapter that's up for the day. And don't forget to subscribe, and I guarantee you, we've been able to knock out the New Testament, uh, I think in about seven months. Listen, it's worth it, so you can get to know your Bible and know who you are. And what the scripture says who you are is more important than what people say that you are. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you. I'll see you. Bye-bye.
at this right here. This is the Lord's Prayer. This is what Christ taught his disciples, which means that this is something that was for all believers to use. It's just a matter, you don't have to use this verbatim, but it's just something you want to do. You see in Matthew chapter 6, verse 9, after this man of death will pray ye, our Father which are in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will, which is this word, it's what we're reading, will be done in earth as it is in heaven. And give us this day, I mean the daily prayer. That's why I encourage you to read the Bible daily as well as pray daily. Uh, our daily bread, and the daily bread, once again, is the Word of God. We talk about loaf of bread, we talk about the Word of God. And forgive us our debts, we give our debt to us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of God. Amen. For if you give men their trespasses, your heavenly Father also forgive you. This is a reminder Christ is telling you, it's important for you to forgive others, for your Father in heaven to forgive you. But if you forgive men not their trespasses, neither will your Father give your trespasses. So you want to remind yourself daily to forgive those who have offended you. Amen? And just remember 1 Timothy 2, 4, who will have all men to be saved and come to, uh, to the knowledge of the truth. Once again, the knowledge of the truth is the word of God. You don't want to, it, it, there's no other truth given if you don't have the word of God with you. That's why you would read it daily. That's why I encourage you to do this, to read the entire Bible over and over again. Romans 14, 12 says, and so then every one of us shall give an account of himself to God. And God is going to hold you accountable for understanding his word. He's not going to sit there and say, well, you pastor didn't tell you I got it. No. He's going to sit there and say, I told you to study. I told you to read the word of God. Amen? So that's what we do that. So, but the main thing is we can do this. We can read the Bible, the entire Bible, especially the entire New Testament. Uh, one day at a time, one chapter at a time. And I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, I do recommend pray daily too. Just like Christ taught us to pray. Pray daily. And pray his will. Pray his word. That's what it is. Therefore, when you ask for things, you should remind them with his word. Amen. And he wants you to love one another. God bless. I'll see you later. Don't forget to subscribe. If you subscribe, every time we bring a chapter out, you'll be notified. Then you go ahead and read that, do that reading for yourself. Amen? All right, God bless you. I'll see you when I see you. Bye. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you.